uh, for our show. The, the schedule, there has been some type of a mock schedule that has been put out by, uh, they're not saying that it's from NASCAR or it's from NASCAR, but it got leaked out and it wasn't supposed to have. But anyhow, it's all over social media now. Nobody has made an official word yet from NASCAR about this schedule. But it says that it is a, a mock-look version of a potentially revised schedule distributed within the NASCAR industry this week. So, for those that are thinking that we're going to be going to Martinsville. Which we aren't. That's not going to happen. Um, it's looking like... If anything, racing will return back to North Carolina at Charlotte for the Coca-Cola 600. Now, one thing that I am looking at here, though, Brandon White, is there's no say whatsoever about the NASCAR Cup All-Star race. So, well, it, would it might be a casualty. That's what I'm thinking. For the first time since, what, 1986. Four. Because, uh, you know, the first time ever at Charlotte, the second year they moved it to Atlanta, and then they brought it back to Charlotte from there. Um, right. But um, there might not be an all-star race unless they bring it to, like, a midweek show or, like, on a Thursday night before before the Coca-Cola 600. I'm not sure. But <clears throat> it looks like tentatively they are planning Charlotte on May 24th. And the key word is tentatively, because remember, it's Governor not Roy Cooper could could extend this uh, this uh, shelter at home to May to later May or in June. You know, like uh, Governor Rob North in, in, in Virginia. So a lot can happen between now and then. This is why it's an unofficial <laughs> schedule. That's right. But Wesley, I am so hoping we get to race on Memorial Day weekend. I'm not holding my breath for it, but I am cautiously optimistic. Um, the double header at Pocono that was going to happen anyway. June 27th and 28th on the original NASCAR schedule. <laughs> Excuse me. So, we then move from Pocono, and then we go to Martinsville. Martinsville was tentatively the race on May the 10th for Mother's Day for the first NASCAR night race at Martinsville. And it's looking like now it's going to be June 27th, 28th, Pocono, July 1st, Martinsville, July 5th. Indianapolis, July 8th, Richmond, midweek shows. Then we look at another thing here. Atlanta on the 12th. The 15th is Kentucky. Then the 19th is New Hampshire. And then finally, they start to come back to reality uh, after a race on Tuesday night or Wednesday night at Homestead, August 2nd at Bristol, August 8th and 9th at Michigan. And then they kind of get back on this uh, this trend of running double events, or or mind you, also uh, running uh, you know back to back weekends and then even on a Wednesday night. So, but it looks like if they follow this schedule, Brandon, it's going to be a lot of traveling, a lot of work, and can I also say that it looks like uh, we're going to see. Um, you know, the opportunity to possibly still try to finish up the schedule on the original date. Well, that is a tall order because, you know, we talked about how much of a fluid situation this is and the word grind was thrown in this show a few times a day. Yes. There's a lot of unknown unknowns with this. I mean, all this is optimistic, and I hope it happens. But for now, it's a wait-and-see approach. And I'm not 100% certain that we're going to meet that date to begin with. More changes are likely coming. Well, for certain, one thing for certain, we are all definitely optimistic and looking forward when we are allowed to, to get back out there to the racetracks, whether it's for the NASCAR Cup Series, for IndyCar, for NHRA. We know the Indy 500 has been postponed uh, to in August, August 23rd. Uh, that has been added on with the um, with the the, the, uh, the, the well, it's in August. The Grand Prix race has been added yeah, on. Yeah, Grand the NASCAR Prix weekend. NASCAR IndyCar doubleheader. Yeah, yeah that's an interesting that. concept. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, I was going to say that. Uh, man, the horse races, the Kentucky Derby, has been postponed all the way until September. Uh, that used the to Open always be canceled. Yeah, I mean, just just 
all sorts of crazy things going on. But uh, all, I, all I will say in closing is um, I always believe in this Bible verse. Bob Dillner said it. Corey said it. Trent said it. Even I say it. So does Brandon. Keep on praying. The power of prayer is real. And if you're not a spiritual person like me, uh, just wish no harm on anybody because this is a very difficult time we are dealing with in our nation. Hey, this has been a proud presentation of the CRN Podcast. Baseball Talk with Trey Snide. Comments chat. Full throttle. Uh, Man, uh, the round table. The Sports Power Hour, Red Clay Life, and even this podcast, I'll say it again, the full throttle is a presentation of the CRN Sports Network. As always, go to all the podcast available outlets to get replays of this program, and we'll do it again on Monday. That concludes our week of coverage. So, Brandon, final thoughts before we get out of here, man. Well, everyone, just keep moving forward, keep persevering, and this will all blow it over soon. Hope you've all enjoyed it. Thank you to our guests, including Corey LaJoy of Go Fast Racing for the Munster Energy, Na- or for the for the NASCAR Cup Series. It's no longer Munster Energy. For the NASCAR Cup Series, Bob yeah, Dillner. Yeah. Bob Dillner, Lucas Oil Racing TV, Mav TV, and founder of Speed 51. And good old Trent Ivy, winner of the iRacing Race at Virtual Charlotte and a dirt late model racer. So, archives will be up in just a bit. God bless you all. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye, everyone. We'll do it again next Thursday. CRN Podcasts in full throttle. This episode of is an exclusive production solely for the private, non-commercial use of our listening audience. Any publication, reproduction, transmission of the accounts without the express written consent or permission is restricted and prohibited. To hear this replay or other previous podcasts, download on iHeartRadio, iTunes Radio, and TuneIn. As always, this show is for you. Thank you for listening. Looking for a life insurance company that specializes in what you actually need? Protection. Call Danny today with Symmetry Financial. Danny is certified in all 50 states, which means Symmetry Financial is not limited and has over 30 companies to choose from. Symmetry Financial has proved time and time again their options and pricing is just better than the rest. Give Danny a call today at 828-994-1681 to see how Symmetry Financial can make life simple. This is CRN, the Community Radio Network, the voice of the community, the voice of anything sports, and proud to be the voice of the Comets. Follow us at crnsports.org. Now let's get back to the broadcast coverage on CRN.